everyone. Thanks so much for watching. Today I'm going to be showing you what I got from MAC from the Riri Hearts MAC collection. So stay tuned to see what I got. So the Riri Hearts MAC collection came out yesterday and it was super anticipated by everyone. I looked at the collection and I just had to pick up a few things. There are a few of the things that were re-promoted from like her last launch that was back in I think maybe the spring or something like that. But I will show you um, some of the stuff that I do have from her previous collection, as well as the three new things that I picked up now. So to start off, I do have two of the lipsticks that came out um, the last time. One of my favorites of the two are Ho, and both of these are retro matte. This is a more berry red color that looks like this. Really nice and really perfect for the fall, and it's really awesome because it's a matte finish as well. And then there's this one, which is um, Ri Ri Wu. And this is kind of a little bit lighter and I guess you could say a little bit more orange and not as berry. This one was re-promoted but in a special ed edition packaging and I have the two that were um, just in the normal packaging. And then there's also a special edition packaging for the Powder Blush Duo. Now this is in Hibiscus Kiss and it comes half bronzer, well more than half bronzer and then you get um, this really nice kind of Corally pink shade as a blush as well. So this has come out in a special edition packaging, so like the rose gold. Um, I just have the normal one, and I really like this stuff. At first, I wasn't too sure because I was really tanned in the summer when I picked it up, so I didn't think it was going to work for me. But I'm using it more frequently now because I'm not as dark as it was. So probably for me, the most exciting thing from this collection was the cream color base, which um, not a lot of people might you know, know what it's for and might not know how to use this product, but I'll just show you the packaging now. This is what it looks like. You can see the Re, the Re, Re Hearts Mac. Beautiful rose gold packaging. Um, if you are looking, if you're like a person who collects like limited edition packaging, stuff like that, you're really going to go crazy for this collection because it is really beautiful. So this is what it looks like here and this is in diamonds. So you can see this is really, really reflective. I know on the back of the quads, the eyeshadow quads, that the back is basically like a giant rose gold mirror. Um, anyway, so this is what diamonds looks like. This is a really nice kind of, kind of like a rosy gold um, champagne color, and this is a cream product. So this is one of those multi-use products that you can really do a lot with. It's not just limited to, you know, like a face product. I use this. There's kind of a swatch there. It's really nice. Pretty metallic, but not super silver and, like, you know, something that sticks out too much. It's really nice and can look really natural on the skin. So I used it as a highlight today. Um, wow, I just said today really weird. Um, <laughs> so I used it as a highlight today, as well as using it as an eyeshadow base as well, because it is cream. So I used it as a cream eyeshadow base. I did put a primer underneath it, and then I used Max Naked Pigment on top of it. So it turned out really nice, and I'm pretty sure you could probably wear this on its own. Um, but definitely, I think that topping it off with a you know powdered eyeshadow would definitely work a lot better. So this stuff is really awesome. I'm super excited to be using this, and I definitely think this is worth it because you are able to do so much with it. It's not just one of those one use use products, it is something that you can use quite frequently, and I'm sorry, just the packaging is just amazing on these products. The product that I got was a blush, so again, the packaging on this one is the same, it's got that rose gold, really shiny packaging, and then this is what the blush looks like here. So this blush is called Bad Girl Gone Good, and if you know anything about Rihanna's CDs and stuff, um, I believe her second or third album is called Good Girl Gone Bad. So it's kind of a play on words, and I know that one of the lipsticks, or sorry, two of the lipsticks, one's called Talk That Talk, which is her second last album, and then there's this, um, a lipstick called Who's That Chick, which is the title of one of her songs. So it's really cool play on words, and I like how they named these products. So this is a blush, and it is kind of like that same rose gold packaging. So this is the cream color base, and then this is the, uh, sorry, the blush here, and this is a really beautiful kind of peachy, coppery, orange color. Now, at first, I didn't think I'd be able to get away with this color. I've got kind of yellowy, peachy pink undertones, so I thought it would just make me look like an Oompa Loompa. However, I did test it in store 
um, the woman used a duo fiber brush, and I was like, okay, well, like it really diffuses the color and makes it soft and wearable. So I used my um, F15 from Sigma as a blush brush, which is a dual fiber brush. Really looks amazing. So this is what the swatch looks like there. It's more of a kind of peachy, corally color. It doesn't. It looks a little intimidating in the pan, but definitely a really beautiful color. And I think a lot of skin tones can get away with this. Um, you just have to use a really light hand, and especially try to use a duo fiber brush because then it really diffuses that color on your cheeks. And I am wearing um, this as well today. So really beautiful color, and I definitely suggest this because it is a beautiful finish. The formula is great. It is satin, so it's not matte, but it does give you that little bit of shine and um, not super glittery. Beautiful color. definitely recommend this one. So the last product that I picked up was this Velux Brow Liner that looks like this. Again, the outside packaging is crazy rose gold. And then you have the actual pencil that looks like this. So it's a really nice kind of light pink um, color on the you know handle or like the actual pencil. And then each end has a rose gold cap. So you have the liner on one side and then a spoolie on the other. And I am actually wearing this as well today. And this is a really nice color. This is in the color deep brunette, and there was another color called deep dark brunette, so like a little bit darker. Um, I swatched them, one was a little bit more red, and this one's a little bit more um, cool. So I grabbed this one, and that's the swatch of it there. Um, it was really unfortunate, though, because people with lighter, you know, like say blonde hair would have lighter eyebrows. I think this would be a little bit too dark, and this is the lightest shade that they go. So um, it worked out really well for me, but people with lighter, you know, hair and stuff, maybe not so much, but I thought I'd give one of their powder, uh, sorry, not powders, their Velux brow liners a chance, and especially with this packaging, like, I couldn't, I couldn't resist. Um, this pencil isn't, you would expect it to be really creamy and kind of, like, waxy, however, it was kind of stiff, but really powdery, so you don't have to apply a lot of pressure when you're using it on your brows, and it just kind of dissolves into like a beautiful powder once you use the spoolie to kind of, you know, blend it out. It was actually really nice and I'm really excited that I got this. You know, overall I think this collection wasn't too bad. I was expecting a little bit more from the eyeshadow quads. There was two, one kind of like a neutral brown color and then one like a smoky gray silver. Um, from the brown quad I had, I think, three out of the four colors, so there was really no sense buying it. And then out of the, like, you know, gray packaging, those colors didn't really wow me. So it was really unfortunate because the packaging on those was just phenomenal, and I would have loved to have picked them up, not just for the sake of the packaging, but for the eyeshadows as well. And they just didn't seem to be really good quality, so that kind of sucks. Um, the lipsticks looked really awesome, so there was, like, a really dark purple, like a really, really dark purple, um, which was Talk That Talk. There was like an orange color, there was a nude, and then re-promoted re, re woo So definitely um, something for everybody. Definitely go check out the collection because it is beautiful. And have some willpower when you go into that store because it took everything for me not to buy more. So these again are the swatches of the stuff that I purchased. I hope you liked this video. I tried to make it short and not ramble on. <laughs> but I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Cheers.